world's most anticipated games of the century. Rugby World Cup 2021 Final! All Black vs. England. This is Anita, reporting live from New Zealand. But before we start, here are the rules. Rules number one. No food or snack. Rules number two. No toys allowed. Rules number three. Wear proper clothing. Rules number four. Stay focused and silent no food. It is our practice to start our game with a prayer. So let us bow our heads and unite in a prayer. Heavenly Father, we are grateful for all you have done in our life. Thank you for your love, for your kindness, and for everything that you have given to us. Lord, we want to start our service now, Lord. Please bless all of us. We want to praise you. We want to worship you. And we want to listen to your word. Open our heart, our ears, and our minds. So we can understand what we are going to learn today. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Now, let's welcome our JGKC Chief Leader!
you still excited to praise the Lord? Let's praise Him more! I will fight this fight I will run this race I will serve the Lord in all I do Till I see your face I will fight this fight I will run this race I will serve the Lord in all I do Till I see your face I see the cross before me So I keep on pressing on God is calling so I won't look back His word is keeping me on the track To Jesus To Jesus
Referee Martel here. Do you guys know what is my job as a referee? Yeah. Yes, it's to make sure a match goes well. That's why I brought this. This is my cue card for the rules of the match. That's how I don't forget what rules is it in the match. You guys want to see it? Okay, take a look. Surrender to God, resist the devil, and he will run from you. James 4 verse 7 Okay, so that's the rule, I should keep it in my mind, okay? Okay, I'm running late, so I should go to the match now. Whoa! Oh no, it's all ruined! Guys, can you help me to assemble it? No, I don't think that is right. Yay, now we can read it again. Surrender to God, resist the devil, and he will run from you. James 4 verse 7 Yay, but what does this really mean to us? Okay, first of all, surrender to God means not trying to do things on our own, but according to his word. We can do this by reading Bible and asking for his guidance via prayer. Second of all, how can we resist the devil? Hmm, work from him and do not give him any chance to offend you. Then last one, why does Satan run from us? Hmm, it's simple, it's simply because he knows he will lose against the Lord and his children. So, just as we excitedly yell our first, we also can resist the devil. Now, let's shout our power statement together. I will stand strong against sin. One more time, I will stand strong against sin. Until next time, bye-bye! England and New Zealand have long been regarded as rugby heavyweights. set of training of strength, speed, and cardio. Why am I training? Well, I'm trying to get back into the starting team of the world's best rugby team ever. What are they? JJKC, All Blacks. Yeah, you know until about a year ago, I was actually part of the team already. Right then, but then the coach kicked me off the team. Why, why did he do that? Well, I was, I was winning the games, I was scoring my points, and I got a bit snobby, right? I started to become prideful, and then I got lazy in the training, that's why you see a you little know, valley here, right? And then um, I fought with my teammates, for whatever reasons, right? So that's why then the coach picked me off the team for misconduct. So here I am right now, and I regretted that day that he actually fought me off the team. You know, recently, Coach Judy, she called me again. She offered me a chance to get back into the starting team. I got so excited. But, in order for me to get back into the starting team, I need to discipline my body, discipline my mind. I need to shape up again, and I need to climb up for my despair and my bad attitudes. So, what I've been doing is every day now, I need to hit the gyms, hit the fields, and practice and practice again until I become strong, fast and smart. Yeah, but you see, it's really hard for me to actually maintain my training routine and training routine. Every day I have to wake up early in the morning. Ah, oh, I feel so lazy sometimes, right? I would rather just sleep at home, watch my Netflix show. What's that show again? The Korean movie? I cannot remember what it was, but you see, I would rather play my games. You see this body, I tend to just relax and slack off. So, it's just so hard to stay focused and exercise daily so that I can get back to shape. Is it true? What do you think? Here's what I think. In our daily lives, in our spiritual lives, the same thing applies. 
Right? Instead of praying, you would rather watch our Netflix shows. Instead of reading the Bible, you would rather play games. And instead of forgiving our friends or our families, you would rather harbor bitterness. But you see, being tempted to do bad things by itself is not sin. It's the response, it's our response to sin that really matters. You don't believe me? Let me show you what happened to Jesus in the desert when he was tempted by the devil. What has it been now? 40 days? More than enough for any man, I should think. But then, you're not just any man, are you? Why do you persist in this Jesus? What do you hope to prove with all this fasting and praying? If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become bread. It is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Let me show you another perspective. I will give you the glory of these kingdoms and authority over them. Because they are mine to give to anyone I please. I will give them all to you. If you will worship me. Did he? Just offer to rule the world with Jesus? This is Satan's domain, and Satan is tempting him to defy his father. Get behind me, Satan, for it is written, you must worship the Lord your God, and serve only him. you to come out of the boy! Is he dead? Oh. My son. My son. Please, no! The boy has died. So kids, you saw in the movie just now, in the video just now, that the Lord Jesus, in all of his humanity, right, he did not let the devil win. And I think we can learn from Jesus as well. And you want to know how? Let's break it up one by one. Number one, Jesus, he used the Bible to fight back the devil. You see, the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 17, that the word of God is our attack weapons against the devil. That's the sword of our spirit. Can you refer to your Bible again? Okay. That's our number one weapon, is the word of God. And number two, Jesus resisted the temptation from the devil. And at the end, the devil was like, ah, oh, there's nothing that he can do, and he just left Jesus alone. So Jesus prevailed against the devil in his temptations. Children, 
If you believe in Jesus, if you believe in God, God will give you His Holy Spirit. And as we learned before, Holy Spirit is our helper. He will remind us of God's word so that we can stand strong against sin. Refer to John 14 and 6. So let's repeat our power statement one more time. I will stand strong against sin. One more time. I will stand strong against sin. Good morning everyone. What a great moment. We are about to watch the biggest Final World Cup Rugby 2021. Now here with me, Miss Judy Williams, our maestro coach from five World Cup undefeated teams, all black teams. So how are you, coach? I'm sure you are eager to watch your team to win, right? Oh yes, for sure. Our team will defeat our opponent with high scores, just like last year. This is our second match to play against all white team from England. I'm sure you have the best strategies that you apply on the team. Can you please share with us, coach? Yes, for sure. Well, my ways are not easy to do, but those are the only perfect ways that I and my team will win on every match. Um, as a believer of Jesus, yes, I'm a Christian coach. I only need to plan my uh, training principles based on my God. Wow, how can that be? Do they really work well? Absolutely proven best. When we first won, I was aware that my teams might fall into traps. They might be proud, become uh, careless. Well, it's human nature. They might follow their own wrong thoughts or be tempted by others. I always remember the temptation of Satan to Adam and Eve. Satan is the father of lies. In James 8 verse 44 b says, When he lies, he speaks his native language, for he is a liar and the father of lies. And for lies to be believable, they seem they have some truths. Satan is very good at manipulating truths to make his lies seem real, just like he did in the Garden of Eden. Satan twisted God's word to make it seem like God wanted to withhold good from Adam and Eve. It is not true. Satan told Eve that if she touched a tree, she would die. But actually God hadn't said that. God had only said that they were not to eat of the tree. Of course, God only wanted good for Adam and Eve. He wanted to protect them from sin and a fallen world. But they chose to follow Satan's lies. And it should be an important lesson for us. Like Adam and Eve, we need to beware of the devil's lies because his lies are always meant to trick us. If we listen to Satan's lies, then we will be trapped by him and then ourselves will be separated from God. Hmm, very interesting. I never know, even in sport, they will apply the principle of the Bible. So what is their connection to your faith book? Well, Miss Anita, look, the game is about to begin. As you see, my team is preparing. In the team, we have 15 players and 7 substitutes. You see there, one of the big guys? He is Charles. He is one of our substitutes now. Actually, he was a great flanker. He would tackle all the opponents and he should run faster than anybody. And he should make sure that no one in the opponent will play tricks. But unfortunately, because um, he got lost, he followed uh, the wrong direction. And now I have to put him back in the spare player substitutes. Well, uh, actually, Charles should eating well, nutritious food, and sleeping enough, also practicing
an offer. At that time, he didn't do so. Just like in sports, in our daily lives, we will be faced with many temptations that can make us fall into sins. So in order to prevent us to fall into sins over and over again, we need to stand strong against temptations by let Jesus' truths light our paths. As true followers of Jesus, we will not walk in darkness. His truth will light our paths just like the lighthouse which we learned a few weeks ago. As we stay close to the source of light, we will also reflect the light of life. Jesus came as the light of the world. He commands us to be lights too and reflect it so that all can see the light in us. We can stand strong against sin through the power of the Holy Spirit. Second, see God's directions. When we don't know what to do or which way to turn, God's children have the Holy Spirit to be the guide, to give us the right direction just like a GPS. We learned about this two weeks ago. We need to follow God's direction when the Holy Spirit tells us what to do, just ready to be still and hear God when He speaks. Charles consults with me if he's not so sure about his practices or tactics to deal with the opponents. Oh yes, he also comes to God often by praying. Amazingly, God gives him ideas of how to increase his running speed. Third, feed our souls regularly on God's words. God's word is very important for us. We have to feed ourselves with God's word every day. It is our secret weapon to fight the devil. It gives us power over the devil. Nothing and no one can destroy something as powerful as the word of God. Now we need to read this book, memorize its verses, and obey its commands. The devil cannot stand up to it. As we follow it, the devil cannot stand up to us either. And I do apply this principle to my team, to read Bible together before our practices and games. So when we play against any opponents, we don't need to be afraid, because we are so sure that he leads us to play best. Lord, we thank you for the truth that we have learned today. We now know that we can always win over any temptation by the power of Holy Spirit and by doing our parts to live in your light, follow your direction, and read your Bible every day. Lord, please give us compassion to help our friends who are still struggling with their sins, that they also can become more than conquerors. Lord, we want to close our service today. Please keep and bless us safe and sound throughout the week. Give us time together again for the service next week. Lord, please heal them who are sick by the blood of Jesus Christ. Please bless our nations to follow your truth and lead our nations, Lord, to pass through this pandemic victoriously. In the name of Jesus we pray, hallelujah, amen. Boys and girls, if you have any questions or prayer requests, please uh, send them to us or call us through this number. We will surely support you in our prayers. We believe that God is never far from us and He will surely give us the best answers. So see you next week. Bye! It's quiz time. Number one. Surrender to blank, resist the blank, and he will run from you. James blank verse 7. A. Devil, God, James 3. B. God, Devil, James 4. C. The church, sins, James 6. D. All is wrong. Number 2. Who is Uncle Charles? 
in the lesson? A. A coach B. A football player C. A rugby player D. An interviewer Number 3 Who is the devil? A. A liar B. A helper when we have problems C. A friend when we are sad D. A teacher to help us in task Number 4 What will the devil do when we listen to him? A. He will trick or trap us B. He will harm us C. He will tell lies that seems to be truth D. All is correct Number 5. Can you stand strong against temptation or sins? A. Of course, I cannot. B. I think I can. C. Yes, I surely can. The last question. Number 6. How can we stand strong against temptation? A. With our own strength, we can do so. B. By learning about power from the books. C. By living in His lights, seek His direction, feed on God's word. D. By doing sports activities. <music>